Hello, and welcome to episode six of The Whole Story. Today, we are going to see a permit be applied for and then assessed with an early start. Uh, I'm Paul Chandler, product owner for Street Manager. It's been a while since we've seen uh, Street Manager. Loads has happened in the last three or four months since the last batch of videos. Looking forward to showing you those things today. Uh, let's get straight on, Matt, and get into the product. And here we see some lovely tiles that we've added. This is the new Look Street Manager dashboard. That's a very recent addition. Where are we going to go today, Matt? 25B Crawford Street. We could search by postcode. That's recently been added into Street Manager, that search. But we'll search by traditional address search. So I've searched for Crawford Street. I've got five results there. We can see there's some in London, some elsewhere. I know this street is in Westminster, so let's go and take a look. So I can see Crawford Street straight away. But the first thing I'm going to do is just check to see what else of works are happening around us. I've just zoomed out there. Immediately I can see there's another piece of work happening on the street. Let's just take a look and see if there's anything about that job that might influence our planning. So I, t I click the pin there. Immediately I get a little summary. I can see the promoter, the type of work. Interestingly, I can see the date here is a year in advance. So Caitlin have done a good job planning far in advance, letting everyone know they, don't, they want to make sure that work goes ahead. I'm curious, I want to see a little bit more. So I'm going to look into the permit. Right, as you can see, now I can start to see all of the details. I can see exactly who's doing it. But because we know it's far in advance, it's not, an, it's not going to affect our works, but it's just nice to know that that's there. So anyone can see that regardless of who they are in Street Manager? Yes, absolutely. All, all, all works that have been put into the system are there for everybody to see. Wow, sounds great. And what an efficient bunch Caden are. Right, okay, let's get on with the next, the next phase. I am going to start planning my work. So as I said, 25B, I'm going to zoom in. Oh, lovely bit of detail there, Matt, on this map. The, 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 the maps we use give really accurate representations of the street, allow you to kind of get a really clear understanding of, of the area you're going to be working in. As you can see here, there's some small traffic islands on this street. They're not going to affect, hopefully not going to affect my works. I'm going to take us to the next stage and, um, and, and plot where I'm going to do some work. So I'm going to select point outside 25B. Okay, and here for the first time we can see the ASD in Street Manager. Uh, in this particular street we've got an embassy and we've also got, if you scroll down there Matt, some traffic sensitivity. So you may have noticed as well, up the top there, we've got the ability to select from multiple USRNs now. What we've done is drawn a 25 metre radius around where you've dropped your point and we can choose between two different streets. So Upper Montague Street will have some different ASD, a different road category of course, but we are working in Crawford Street, so let's go back there, and Matt, we will tick traffic sensitive, but we're nowhere near 119, so we'll leave that job. Let's go up and create a permit application. Okay, so you've seen all this before. If you've seen our earlier videos, we won't dwell on this. We're just working in the footway uh, and the carriageway, I believe, here, Matt. Yeah, that's correct. And that's give us a works location description, so of course that's outside 25B. Thank you. Give us some work details there. This hasn't changed since the last time you guys saw it. Okay, this is new. What type of works is it? So if we choose immediate works, we get given two options. What that's getting at is, is it immediate emergency work or immediate urgent work? We need to make that distinction in the system. But this is planned works, of course, and the question that we get asked there is, is a temporary traffic regulation order required? And if you say yes to this, then the system is going to make it major works. We don't have that today, so it's just a simple no, and we're gonna do some standard works. Let's continue, Matt. Uh, and we're gonna start this job next week on the 8th of March. And we're gonna finish it on the Thursday, the 14th, I believe, that's great. And we can see there that we've got five working days, seven calendar days. Street Manager has calculated that for us. And we can continue, Matt. Now we get to our activity type list. It's the first time you guys are seeing that. We're carrying out some utility asset works today. 
but you can see the full range of options that we've got there. This is how we get section 58s and section 50s into Street Manager. Give us a description of works map, new gas supply or whatever you like. New connection, lovely. An excavation is required. It's not. We've not quite got to the level yet where we uh, don't need to dig an excavation to do a gas supply. And uh, you can see we have to choose standard works. We're just in the process of sorting that out. You won't need to do that in the near future, but Matt has to choose standard works there. Do you have pre-approval for an early start? So we looked at this and decided that that was the two types of early start that people have. So if we say no to this question, Matt, let's just see what that does for Street Manager. Reason for requesting an early start, you can just give that in. You've not spoken to the council already and try, try your luck Will they grant your permit or not. Some councils, of course, prefer discussion before an early start is agreed. So let's have a look at that. And here we're going to do a pre-approved early start. So that's give us the name of the person we spoke to at the council. So I've spoken to Kelly Davies in this instance and I agreed on a, call, on a phone that the work can go ahead, so I'm just going to make a little note of that. Great stuff. Okay, continue. Uh, again, this hasn't changed. We can still put in our works reference number. We're still sorting out the uh, auto-generation of numbers in Street Manager. Some carriageway incursion is the TM here, Matt. There's no lane rental, there's no TM plan required for this job. Great stuff. Uh, no need to notify environmental health, sadly no opportunity for collaborative working. Let's go on to the next page. The conditions is unchanged since you guys have seen it before I believe. We're just going to add the um, default conditions onto this one. We'll do uh, 1A as you've done there Matt and 11A, lovely stuff. Uh, continue. And here we've got an additional information screen as well, so you can sort of do whatever you need to with this one really. You can give some details of anything you might have about a TM plan that you want to send in the future or some details that you've got that you want to tell the local authority about. And here we can just say why we did the uh, early start, you know, the, uh, the, the site, the building site was ready earlier than we expected maybe. Always great if we can get a local authority to get a, a, one of their residents a gas supply earlier than uh, they were expecting to. And we can review our answers here. Lovely stuff. We can make a change if we want. I think the last time you guys saw this screen, if I remember rightly, we had change up option on every line. It's a lot clearer now. It's just change per page. And let's go ahead, Matt, and apply for that permit. Great, okay. And if we, we've added an option here where we can click on the uh, plan and manage roadwork side at the top of the page, we go straight back to our dashboard. That's a very easy bit of functionality that we added in that I think people will find useful. And now we need to sign out and log in as a highway authority. Thanks Paul. Now that application is in Street Manager, I'm gonna look at it from the, the other end. So I'm gonna take a look at my permit applications. Here I can get a view of the works that have been sent over to me and here in applications I have a list called awaiting assessment there's just three I'm going to take a quick look at those I can see the ones that are in the system and at the bottom of the list here I can see our work outside 25B Crawford Street so I'm going to take a look at that from here I'm now taken into our works record We've dis we, you've seen this on previous videos there's been a, a few enhancements to this but I'm just going to take us through to the next step where I actually where I see the permit and from here we're seeing the information that you saw earlier when Paul submitted the permit obviously my next question now is is you know is this work going to clash with anything else so I'm just going to take a look at the map and here we can now see the pin placed on the map with our little window open to show to, to, to help me orientate myself and make sure that I'm looking at the right one I'm just going to close that down and I can see there's no works getting in the way, there's no other work in the area, so I can go back and get on with reviewing the rest of the details. Great to see that map view in uh, Street Manager for the Highway Authority. Of course, that's just the multiple layers, different statuses being able to be toggled on and off, different phases of works. 
This is just the start of the journey of the map view, but I'm super happy to have it in Street Manager. And so I'm going to just assume that the rest of that permit is good to go, and I'm going to grant this permit. No discount applied today, but as you can see, if there is a discount, then I can apply it here. If I wanted to apply a 50% discount, I write 50%. That then gets applied. In this case, I'm going to say it's zero, and I'm going to grant their permit. Great stuff. Thanks very much, Matt, for your assistance today on episode six of The Whole Story.